Hi, Kyle Grossmiller here again, and welcome back to our video demo series on using PureCloud Block Store with Azure VMware Solution. In the first demo video, we showcased how to deploy AVS as well as setting up some of the networking. Um, this video, we're going to show a quick recap on the VNet deployment that's required to use Cloud Block Store. Uh, we'll then provision a NAT gateway as well as service endpoints for the system subnet for Cloud Block Store to work. And then last but not least, we'll actually walk through the CBS deployment itself. So to get started, again, just a quick uh, demo on how to deploy a Azure VNet. We covered this in the first video, but it's important enough that I thought it was important to show it uh, a second time. Again, we are using a virtual network gateway that is covered in the first demo video, but you do need a gateway subnet. It's also very important to deploy that virtual network gateway, that ultra virtual network gateway, prior to deploying a NAT gateway, like we're going to show in this video. Um, we're also going to set up four additional subnets in addition to the gateway subnet used by that virtual network gateway. That's a management system, which I'm deploying now. Uh, it doesn't have to be a dash 24. It can be a subnet address range of any size, so long as it fits within the overarching VNet you're deploying. Uh, dash 24 seems to be fairly common though. We're also using iSCSI for obviously our iSCSI traffic. And then last but not least, replication for replication traffic to and from Cloud Block Store. Uh, next to security, we can leave these as basic. And then we're going to go ahead and review and create that virtual network. Okay, we're initializing our deployment. Um, I'll skip ahead here just to get it up and running. Um, so now we'll go to this resource. And something important to note here is this is the AVS private cloud that was provisioned in our first demo video. As you can see, whereas highlighted on the screen tells you what availability zone AVS has been deployed into. That's very important. You want to deploy cloud block store into the same AZ, again, AZ2 highlighted there. So that's why we're highlighting that. Um, now we're going to go back to deploy our NAT gateway. The NAT gateway is how we get outbound internet access for Cloud Block Store to be able to communicate with Pure One. Um, I'll get, go ahead and give it a name, AVS Demo NAT Gateway. Uh, we're going to deploy it in the same region as Azure VMware Solution and Cloud Block Store. Again, availability zone, we saw zone two for Azure VMware Solution, so we're going to go ahead and deploy this NAT gateway in that same zone. Uh, we're going to create a public IP address. Again, this public IP address, this NAT gateway, is how Cloud Block Store routes out over the system subnet to register the instance, as well as send back telemetry data, and so our support staff can get in as well. We're going to associate this NAT gateway with the system subnet that we just created previously, and then we're going to go ahead and review and create this NAT gateway. Okay, everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and click Create. There are many different ways you can route out over the system subnet, uh, fire, Azure Firewall, on-premises firewall, many options. Uh, NAT Gateway is just a super simple way to show you uh, one way to do it. Okay, we're back in our VNet that we originally created. We're gonna click into our system subnet. We can confirm that that NAT Gateway we just created in the previous step has been created. Now we need to set up a couple of service endpoints. Uh, Pure Cloud Block Store uses Cosmos DB. And then it also uses Microsoft Key Vault for our encryption vault. So we've got those two service endpoints associated with the system subnet. Uh, that's all you have to do here. So we'll click Save. Optionally, with replication on Pure Cloud Block Store, if you wanted to use our Cloud Snap technology, um, if you wanted to say replicate a snapshot to Azure Blob, for instance, uh, we do need to create a service endpoint for that service as well, Microsoft.Storage, attached to the replication subnet. Great, so with that, all of our networking prerequisites have been completed. So now we can hop into actually deploying Pure Cloud Block Store itself from the Azure Marketplace. So we'll go to the Marketplace, we'll just do a quick search for Pure Cloud Block Store. You can see there's our product deployment. Uh, versions obviously change all the time, that was 6.4.0. We're going to East US, the V20 is our more performant model. We're going again, very important to avail availability zone two, because that's the same as our AVS solution that's gonna maximize our performance. Uh, give it a name, uh, an array name as well as an application name. Give it the company domain name. We do have a free trial license available for Pure Cloud Block Store. Um, check out our support sites and learn more about that. 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and associate CBS with all of those subnets that we just created earlier on. So there's our system subnet. There's our management subnet. That's how you actually get in. And management is how you actually manage the array. iSCSI traffic, this is what will actually communicate with Azure VMware solution or any other virtual machine that you choose to connect up to this Cloud Block Store instance. And last but not least, replication. Uh, we're not tagging this. Again, this is just a demo, but you can tag stuff here. JIT, it's important that this is set to yes uh, so that our support team can get in to update anything if it becomes required. And we're going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and then click create. That will kick off the deployment. It typically takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, just depending on availability on Azure for a CBS instance to create. Um, here we can see the deployment is in progress and we'll come back in the next demo video now to show you how to connect Pure Cloud Block Store to Azure VMware Solution. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please check out this QR code for a lot more detailed info and catch you next time.